Hi everyone, and welcome to the Watcher of Watches YouTube channel, where I will be sharing my passion for watches, buying and owning experiences of timepieces that I have collected over the last few years. If you like my videos, please drop me a comment below, hit the subscribe button turning on the notifications, and follow me on Instagram. Around 15 years ago, I bought what I consider as my first watch. Aside from a Casio as a child, I bought a Tag Heuer micro timer. And looking back now, I was surprised I liked it with its odd case design and fully digital functionality. I guess I wasn't the only one that liked this watch actually, as I ended up losing this watch at a former workplace and it was never returned to me. Fast forward quite a few years later and I invested in another Tag Heuer, which was this Carrera in 43 millimeters. But then I made quite a big mistake and I started reading about the Tag Heuer brand on forums and everyone's opinion on the brand. And it completely swayed me. So I decided to refund the watch back to the retailer after only a couple of weeks. And that was it. That was it for me and Tag Heuer. However, I always had a soft spot for the Heuer reissues and was intrigued when I received an invitation from the flagship store in Dubai and decided to take a look. So making my way to Dubai Mall and I came to the Fashion Avenue entrance which had been open at the tail end of 2018. This is one of the biggest Rolex stores in the world. This houses every global fashion brand in one area. It's like the Fifth Avenue in New York or Bond Street in London. And it includes my favorite designers such as Prada, Saint Laurent, Montclair and Alexandra McQueen. The architecture is superb and they've also opened a new FP Jean shop on the second floor, so I may have to pop into that soon. Finally, no fashion avenue is complete without a Louis Vuitton store. And there was actually a temporary top-up store as well, and had some crazy graphic display on the outside. Still enjoying some wrist time with my Pepsi and I finally make my way to the flagship store of Tag Heuer. And they had their own pop-up stand just outside the boutique displaying some of the finest Porsches in the world including the Carrera GT. And they had some of their new watches on display together with some museum pieces. I thought this was a little controversial about having the first automatic chronograph, but the salesperson did clarify that although Zenith created the first automatic chronograph prototype with the El Primero, Tag Heuer actually introduced it first as a production piece. And finally, to the boutique itself, Sorry. which had a really nice modern feel to it on the inside. And on the left, you had the Carrera models. And at the back, you had the Monaco models. 
and I got a chance to try on a couple of the Hoya re-editions. These were both in 39mm and with the Hoya O2 in-house movement and were limited edition as well. The first one I thought was a little bland, but the second one really had a nice look to it with its blue subdials. What struck out to me on both of these models was they were finished to a much higher standard than what I'd seen or experienced before, including the movement with lovely chafered edges. So then on to the Monica re-editions. Again, really nicely finished, although a little big for my liking. And finally, I was shown the Micrograph from 2011 and it reminded me of the Zenith Defy with its movement and the finishing was exceptional, unfortunately not for sale. And to finish off, some nice vanilla and pistachio ice cream on Tag Hoya. So, would I buy one? Unlike before, the answer is no longer a no, but it's also not a yes either at the moment. I think I'll keep an eye out on the Hoya reissues in the future and see if there's anything that catches my eye. Unfortunately, I'm still in the camp that if it says tag on the dial, I wouldn't be interested, but the vintage remakes have certainly taken my interest and the finishing has gone up a level. Finally, a shout out to Jerry at the boutique who made the experience really good. So there you go guys, until my next video, stay safe and thank you for watching.